just high or just shy of the 4,000 pound mark, depending on how it's built and what options are applied to it. Freedom Express 192 RBS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Easy camping, carpetless couples camper with Asdell, uh, you know, laminated wall panels to save weight, extend longevity. Great pass-through storage. Uh, small towing, but big feeling camper. And that's a, a hard set of qualities to try to combine. Full travel accessibility with the slides closed, or slide as it is in this case, is a highly sought after feature and it is something that this Freedom Express delivers well. I have the slide fully retracted currently. You can see this floor plan doesn't need a slide at all. It is 100% fully functional and effective with the slide completely closed. You can even fold down that sleeper sofa and still have plenty of room to walk around this thing. So whether you're packing up or making a travel stop, um, uh, or just a quick overnight trip and you don't want to mess with stuff, this is extremely functional in that regard. Now this model has been exceptionally popular here at Halet RV. And I think it's because, you know, there's several manufacturers who build layouts like this. Like this is very similar to say the Rockwood 2109S you'd find here at Halet RV. But the taller interior and the longer bed and the Asdell walls kind of separate it um, to be larger but lighter. And, the, and like I said, that's a really odd combination of features to put together. Now, as we saw, we have easy full slide access. This just gives us greater access. But you can see that the type of slide system on here, it, it eliminates the need for carpeting. Now, one of the most common questions I get on a floor plan like this is people will say, can I swap the sofa out for a dinette or anything else? And the answer is no, you can't. The reason is, you see that wooden block down there? That's actually the wheel well. One of the things that makes this floor plan work so well is that this slide out opens up the living space and it gives us that nice sort of couples camping seating experience. But the slide out does not go all the way down to the floor, which is required for things like theater seating or a dinette. If you put a dinette in this, you, uh, the right under the sofa is actually the bottom of the slide. The dinette would be like a 12-inch step up, and there's no one who's going to be real excited about a one-foot step up into a dinette. Whereas this sofa, you can build right down to the ground. Now, that being said, they did a gar darn good job here. And we're actually going to come back to the sofa later and look at some of the multifunction nature of it. But one of the things I want to zero in on here is you're going to find a bunch of USB plugs around this camper, like on both sides of the um, bed in the entertainment center and here in the armrest you've got 12 volt powered usb plugs so my primitive dry camping boondocker type people you're going to be good to go and you've got the nicer led inlay inside that sort of theater style uh cup holder armrest right here but of course you can just fold it up out of the way sort of like the the back seat of a truck you know if you got a full uh like super cab or whatever your brand of truck calls it you've got that fold down armrest so it's you can get that third person seating capacity um, or uh, you can get the uh, the two-person comfort with the cup holders and the armrest. Now, uh, we do have pleated shades all the way around. All the windows will open for airflow. And along with the Esdell, one of the other things I really like about Freedom Express is, is their interior height. These have a taller 6-foot 9-inch interior. And uh, what that means is more uh, headroom in the living area, a greater sense of uh, space, which in a small camper like this, the taller ceiling is very obviously felt. It feels much, much larger in here compared to similar brands. But it means a taller slide, so they're able to include overhead storage and a window. A taller shower that we'll look at in a little bit here um, means a lot of good things. Now, uh, generally speaking, and this is an optional piece of equipment, our Freedom Express is here at Halet RV. We will equip across the board with a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and a rear ladder and a power tongue jack. Those are three optional pieces of equipment. And a lot of people say, in this little camper, you'll put that upgraded air conditioner? Why? And the reason is because it's a non-centralized air unit. Even though in this little trailer, it would probably get along just fine with a 13.5 air, we like the extra power of the full 15,000 BTU air conditioning system to help support the fact that it's non-centralized to give you that extra push to keep the whole camper cooler in the hot sun. Now the white roof on this and the white nose will do wonders toward keeping the heat down in here, especially in sun country. Now, um, this is an open design camper because it is definitely couples focused. Um, so, but what again is nice is we have that longer 60 by 80 residential size queen bed. So bigger, longer sheets are gonna fit that thing just fine. And both sides of the bed have household and USB plugs 
uh, for charging all kinds of devices, CPAPs, etc. And again, the uh, USBs are 12 volt operated. Um, little update at the time of this filming is uh, the shiplap uh, front wood tones on the front of the uh, the bedroom, the, the headboard area of that. And that actually continues all the way behind the dual hanging closets. And you see that you've got dual closets and an overhead cabinet, not an overhead shelf. Uh, additionally, nice little Freedom Express Extra is the extra vent above the bed up here for airflow and light exchange. And those cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed are going to be your best friend if you are boondocking and dry camping. Now for years, Freedom Expresses have actually had a dual element blue white uh, LED reading lamp here. And it actually it's funny because we had another Freedom Express come in this morning with those dual element lamps. And it looks like they've changed to a brighter, stronger single element white LED light here. But you notice it's got kind of a spotlight sort of effect going on against that headboard. So if you are looking to do some evening reading with it, uh, you can very much do so and keep the, the light kind of angled off to the side so that you're not disturbing your partner. Now for entertainment purposes, like if you're sitting on the couch right next to where I'm standing currently, you see that the TV can swing right out to you. And in point of fact, you can actually swing that TV around so that you can see it from the toilet. I tried it. It works. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. I didn't try the toilet. I tried seeing the TV from the toilet. Let me clarify that because I think that those are that means two different things. And I want you to know what did and did not happen. <laughs> but my point is, TV swings out for easy viewing, whether you're in the bed, the sofa, kitchen, or, again, <laughs> the bathroom. <coughs> now, DVD, Bluetooth stereo system right there. And a handy little phone charger or device charging station right here is very welcome because whenever we camp with my family, it's like even if there's three of us or five of us or however many people, we are always fighting for plugs for these things, for the watches, for the tablets, for the everything else, etc. Now, on a laminated sidewall trailer, it's very hard to have power outlets in the side walls. One of the cool parts about having the entertainment center bump the kitchen area here is that you do have a very easy access uh, uh, power outlet right there, and then you'll have an additional, more traditional um, power outlet above that overhead cabinet. But speaking of the kitchen, let's zero in on this in a little more detail, shall we? What's cool here is how much they did and how little space they did it. And one of my favorite parts of this 192, I'm a sucker for little gimmick things, because guys, these things are, they're like, if you compare this to a Rockwood, in so many ways, they're gonna be like 97% the same. So it's those little touches that are gonna define brand A to brand B to brand C. And the little details like this, like Coachman is amazing at storage. And obviously, somebody who camps had a hand in this because they understand the need for a wastebasket. And in point of fact, one of the things I like about it is on a drizzly day like today, I got to stuff my umbrella in there and not leave water all over your floors. Now, quick note, you might notice a little sawdust particulate around. This camper is fresh off the delivery truck. It has not gone through our cleaning bays or anything like that. Although it will before you take it home, but at no additional charge. We don't do hidden dealer fees at Haylet RV and we make sure campers are right before they leave. So. One of my favorite things Freedom Express does is the sink around utensil drawer. And that thing is awesome. Gives you a perfect segmented compartmentalized drawer here with an easily removed um, insert. So if you want to take that outside for picnic time, you can. It wraps right around that stone cast sink, which is rated for up to 500 degrees, by the way. So you can pour boiling water in it and not hurt it because water evaporates before 500 degrees. All of the countertops... The tabletop we're going to see later, the bathroom counters, anything is going to have a sealed edge to it. So especially around a sink, a high water volume area, if you splash or spill something, it's not going to cause any damage. I do like that big window right there for lots of airflow, by the way. And now a taller ceiling, like we already talked about, means taller cabinets. And they're going to hold together because they're pocket screwed, not sawdust that's been stapled together. They've got a recently updated stainless uh, microwave and stovetop combination from Furion that has such a good look and feel to it. We already kind of took a peek at the entertainment center, but I do want to zero in on the fact that we've got extra drawers here in the kitchen, not just the sink around utensil drawer, but three full extension plywood boxed, not particle board and sticker wrap box drawers right here. Um, you know, for, and they're all easily accessible from the kitchen area. They've done an, just an exceptionally good job of this thing right here. But the storage doesn't kind of end there. If we go next to the refrigerator, next to the entry door, beside that um, trash can, we're going to see that we've got this 
full pantry right next to the fridge right here. So this thing has a very healthy, respectable amount of kitchen space in a small little couple's camper. If you've looked at something like the Cougar 22 RBS and it just feels a bit bigger more than you need, this is the perfect solution for you. Although this thing definitely is, is worthy of consideration on its own merits and doesn't need to be compared directly to anything else. When we close everything back up, you get a nice big wide open feel again. So, uh, you know, there's, there's a ton of storage, but it's never obtrusive. It's there when you need it. It's kind of tucked away when you don't. Um, higher intensity lighting and more of it is one of the things they do at Freedom Express to really help lighten and brighten it up in here. And when they change from that red cherry waxy wood tone to this lighter, brighter, what I call Malibu Beach House sort of look to it, these, they just really took off. Um, the little blue ocean breeze accents on some of the, the, the kitchen etching and whatnot looks amazing. Now, again, one of the things that I'm a big fan of on a Freedom Express is their taller showers. But before we get there, you also need legroom for a big, tall person like me if you're going to make a big, tall person friendly camper. And in front of that porcelain stool, because they put it at a little bit of an angle, you have plenty. Now, above the toilet, you do have a handy little towel rack right here. But you might notice we have both a power vent fan and a skylight instead of one or the other. But once again, this, this is one of the reasons I love Freedom Express campers. Because even with a hat, with my shoes, I can stand in the shower with these with their taller ceiling and not hit my head. And not have to put my head up in the bubble. It's just a little more comfortable for a bigger uh, person like me like that. Now... Obviously, we've got a full medicine cabinet and, uh, you know, not the biggest bathroom in the world, but they gave you the biggest sink they really could. And again, that's that sealed edge sort of countertop material stuff here in the bathroom. And what's also cool is a locking door. And it's actually surprising how many brands don't provide that for you in a bathroom area. Now, that power outlet next to that sofa right there is a very commonly missed feature. But another thing people don't realize um, you know, not, not only just the, the, the taller slide that we already talked about, but the fact that, you know, you, you look at this, you go, yeah, but where do I eat? Well, if you take a look, they came up with a solution for that. The uh, Freedom Express includes a little uh, fold-away picnic table with a free-floating elliptical base. Now, it includes an outside picnic table already, but obviously we can eat in here. You can use it for dining or an island or prep space. And then the sofa just folds down for us real quick like we see right here. So we are all sorts of grandkid or maybe big dog friendly if you want to throw a blanket up there and you camp with a big dog and a small camper this one will take care of you and it's amazing how many people still comment on that simple coachman clock i don't know what it is about it so many people walk through the lot and go oh i really like that it's just the simplest thing but for some reason it just seems to catch people now the weather is kind of drizzly and rainy. I don't know how much of that's showing up on camera right now. If you hear what sounds like static, it's actually raindrops bouncing off the umbrella right above my head in the camera right now. And I certainly don't want to leave these baggage doors and things open in the rain. Um, it's uh, not really coming at an angle it's going to go in the camper, but I don't want to also want a chance face. So I'm going to kind of hit some things pretty quickly here. I very often forget to leave my battery box on to show folks this pass-through lighting that you see down here. Now sometimes the table's white, sometimes the table's black. I think it just kind of depends on what tables they get that day. But the point is you're going to get a two foot by four foot waterproof outside uh, weather resistant picnic table in a Freedom Express and a full pass-through lighting uh, right here like you'd find uh, under the awning effectively. And just to give you an idea, this is 42 cubic foot of space. That is the box for that TV in the living area, just to show you how much that is dwarfed by comparison. And uh, one of the uh, other things that you can apply this, it used to be optional, it might be standard now, I have to double check, but the self-storing Coleman Camp Grill with uh, its free-floating nature, you wanna set it on that picnic table, you wanna grill with it there, you wanna take it to your buddy, you know, Mark's campsite or whatever and, and go grilling over there. You can go hang out with Mark and Karen and do some grilling. This thing will go anywhere you want. Um, before I close things up and uh, kill my battery box, I also did want to take just a quick moment to uh, peek at the LED nose accent lighting. Not very impressive during the day in the middle of the rain like this, but at night they actually provide a decent glow on your campsite and being white, they can really double as pretty effective hitching lights if you do need to hitch up in the morning or uh, at night to you know get out and go somewhere. Now that she's all closed up, we can take a little more time and not be in such a panic rev about things. Back up front here, whether it's that grill door, whether it's this compartment door, you can see that you've got a nice magnet catch hold back for easier one hand operation, which I appreciate holding an umbrella right now. 
Um, next to that uh, nice little rain channel dripping down, we've got a simple side mount solar. Park the camper in the shade, chase the sun with the panel. That is one of the things that a side mount solar can do that a roof mount can't do very well, is allow you to move the panel around your site if you choose to add one. Um, we, uh, we have those on the shelf anytime at Halo RV. If you're curious, call our guys, we'll get you a tag on one. Um, up front here, we already kind of talked about the accents in it, but that three-quarter nose cap on this, if I had a spare hand, I could pound all over that thing and do nothing but hurt my hand. It is exceptionally thick and heavy-duty and rugged. Years ago, Freedom Express used to have a brown nose, like say this Wildcat or this Wilderness that we're looking at in our used lineup over there. Um, they switched back to a white nose, because when they were putting like a uh, one of those heat sensing lasers on the interior wall, meaning right by your head where you sleep, they found that it was 20 degrees hotter with a brown nose versus the white one. So that is helping cut down a ton of extra heat generated into this camper. But again, remember, we also tend to put the larger air conditioner on these Freedom Expresses to maximize your cooling capacity. Up front here, uh, we do like to add on again the power tongue jack and the rear ladder that you'll see as well. But you will find a Freedom Express does have the room for two batteries. This will include one at no additional charge from Halo RV and um, a, uh, a tongue mounted spare tire. And that helps with load equalization and it also leaves the rear bumper open if you want to add a bike rack. And a more recent addition is that simple battery disconnect switch right here. I'm very happy to see that uh, so that if you do have the camper in storage for a couple weeks, it really, it's, it's kind of crazy. How many uh, higher, you know, power use appliances are in RVs nowadays that even operate on 12 volt? And not too long, even in storage, uh, these things can sap a battery just on standby mode. So having that hard disconnect is so, so nice. Um, the uh, wheels down here, we've got our aluminum wheels. Now this is a shorter floor plan. A lot of Freedom Expresses will utilize wide stance axles, starting with when you get up to the um, 231RBDS. This is short enough, they don't need to do that because generally speaking, any vehicle that can handle the weight of this camper can also handle the length because it is such a small and efficient size camper. Note the centralized hookups in that rear corner. That is something Freedom Express is exceptionally good at. And what that's going to do for us is just make your, your camping life so much easier because you tend to have most hookups in this corner of the RV unless you're in a really poorly planned out park. Um, the Triple P, the poorly planned park. Now we've got an outside shower with hot and cold, black tank flush, separate cable and satellite hookups are things I like to specifically note on here. We are backup camera ready. Whether you're looking for uh, you know, rear view only, or, or meaning like when you're parking the camper only, or an in-motion observation camera, this can uh, accomplish both goals for you. And do remember that rear ladder we're looking at, it is an optional piece of equipment, and I've been told that we are once again one of the few dealers that seems to be applying these pretty much across the board on the Freedom Express because they do have walkable roofing. We like you to be able to get up there easily, more safely, uh, for uh, easier seasonal maintenance and upkeep. Now. Most Freedom Expresses, like uh, the 248 behind us, they have a triple entry step. And you're looking at this one and you're going, oh, do they go cheap? Why is there only a double step? And the answer is no. This is a shorter, lighter weight trailer and it has a uh, not as tall of a chassis. So it physically sits lower to the ground than the 231 and the 248, which means a little bit lower exterior height, a little lower ground clearance and um, easier in and out, but you still maintain that uh, handy, you know, folding ladder up top there. So like I said, walkable roof. That's one of the reasons we like to put a ladder up there. Now, <laughs> walking on the roof in the rain, showing you how all this works, one hand on the umbrella, one hand on the camera. Maybe not the smartest thing, but I didn't get to where I am in life by being smart. My wife will tell you that. I digress. Um, so fully walkable roof up here. And you're noticing this interesting circular bucket looking thing. That's the new WineGuard Air 360 antenna system. You don't have to like crank the antenna up and down. It's lower than the air conditioner. It'll be protected from like a low hanging branch. And it's just easier to, uh, you just get to your campsite, hit the scan button once, and there's your channels. You don't have to like turn and scan and turn and scan and turn and scan the antenna constantly. Um, the, we've got a 3 8 roof decking here on top of arched uh, uh, wooden roof trusses, which throws a lot of people off that this is a lightweight trailer with a wooden roof truss. But that is actually a heavy duty structural item that you'll find used up in like big luxury fifth wheels, actually the most popular luxury fifth wheels. Um, and where it's good, it's, it's time tested, it's proven, 
uh, and it is very good at uh, weight dispersion. So if you are camping in a place, or you live in a place rather, where this is in storage, it's going to be outside, there's going to be a heavy snow load on top of it. This is a great brand of camper to consider because it does have the uh, extra capacity on the roof to be able to take a big snow load and deflect and disperse that weight without like buckling and cracking and breaking. Wood's very good at that because wood can bend and then return to shape and disperse weight. Um, short of that, I think we're pretty good up here. Uh, if you have any other questions, certainly give us a call here at Halet RV. We're more than happy to answer questions. Like, remember again, my footprints will not be on the top of this camper when you take it home because we clean our RVs at no additional charge. Um, so whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and RV delivery and everything in between, we do it all for you at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.